All right, Punky, fall is here, and oh. fall is all about apples. Oh, apples and pears. Yes. I love the fruit this time of the year. So what are we making today? We're going to make a pear almond tart, because those two flavors are wonderful together. Okay. And then we're going to make a very easy country apple tart with the streusel topping, and then we'll make a classic French apple tart. These look like very elaborate complicated desserts. Are they as difficult they're as they not, look? <laughs> they're not. They're not. You can do lots of things in steps. For instance, I always make a big batch of tart dough and then I keep it in the fridge or freezer and then I'm ready to go. Okay. And the tart dough is very easy to make. It's very similar to a sugar cookie dough. So a tart so, dough is not a pie crust. No, a pie crust, you're cutting in the fat into the, into the flour to get big chunks of butter. Uh, when you make tart dough, it's like a sugar cookie. You have sugar and butter and you cream it and then add, not water, but you add egg as your liquid, liquid and then the flour. Interesting. So it's a different mix altogether. And you, get, you need that because when you unmold a tart from the pan, it has to be rigid enough to stay in place. Okay. Let's start with your tart okay. dough. Here you've got it already right. in the pan. Right. And I put half whole wheat pastry flour and half white. It's important to get the pastry flour because that's milled from a softer wheat than the bread flour is. Okay. So you can get bread flour as whole wheat, but you can also get a pastry flour. So make sure you, it says whole wheat pastry. Okay. It's very soft and it, it gives a nutty flavor and it's very easy to work with. The apples. First of all, what kind of apples do you use? I like to use an assortment of apples. So I just go to my orchard and they have a kind of a baking mix and I get that. But then the ones on the top, I always like to use Cortland if I can get them okay. because I just love the flavor of Cortland. They're your favorite yes, ones. These apples first, we actually roasted them or baked them in the oven. I had them on a sheet pan with parchment. I sprinkled a little sugar over them and you do that so that the moisture gets out of them a little bit and they give you a really nice flavor. I'm just going to spread them out into my pan and then we're going to now put the apple around it. Now, you, how do you peel all of these apples? Well, you know... It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work and I've decided to get a, an attachment to my <laughs> mixer so that I could actually do this a little easier. And I love it. And it will core it, it will... Look at that! It will do everything you need it to do. Oh, and that's great. And then when great. it's done, what we do is we just take these off, and then I'm just going to cut them in half. And you just keep going around. Those are such top. nice, precise, thin slices. It's, I mean, I guess you so could nice. do it by hand. You could, well, but. somebody who's better at knife skills than <laughs> I am. That's why I bake. I don't, I don't have knife skills. And as we go all the way around, oops, I'm going to turn these up. Uh, we would put another row inside. And then we have a little melted butter okay. we would put on and that's very important because what we're trying to get is some coloring mm -hmm. with here with our apples so we're just going to we brush it with some melted with butter some melted butter and be generous you want to make sure that it all is coated and then that will give us our kind of crispness that we're looking for because you actually want the ends a little I don't want to say burnt but a little brown, brown and yeah. then we're going to just take some sugar and this will give you that kind of nice sparkle and a little bit more sweetness and then this gets baked for a good long time, about 40 minutes at and 350. That, that's it? That's it. And you just continue on, and it's a lovely tart. Oh, and then do you, do you top it with anything? We have a nice, cute little decoration. And it's just made up with the same tart dough that I actually colored red. Oh, that's a great idea. So you can use this tart dough for lots of different things. I have this little, little apple, apple cutter. cutter. You can use a circle if you don't have an apple cutter, but whatever you want, it gives it a nice little look. And they're crunchy to eat just as a cookie. Mm, sorry, oh, that's great. I just love those. They, it is so beautiful. It's almost too pretty to eat. Oh. It looks like something you'd get at a fancy French restaurant. Well, see, you can impress all your friends now. <laughs> you just have to learn how to peel those apple slices. Right. <laughs>